What is up, my squirrel lights? It is I, your king. Welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. In the last episode, we managed to finish out Mount Blaze, and we took down Moltres in the process, who is waiting for us at the peak. And I gotta say, it did not go super well. Um, in fact, I've got all sorts of, like, plain seeds just sitting in my, uh... Sitting in my inventory at the moment because of all of the... Well, actually, I, I really only have the two, don't I? Or do I even have two? No, I have one. Okay, well, I thought I had more than that, but I, I've, I've lost a lot of Reviver Seeds and Blast Seeds and whatnot, so I'm going to need to withdraw some items here because, my goodness, did it not go the best. And also, ooh, uh, regular Reviver Seeds. We're going to pull out all these tiny Reviver Seeds because I am going to need them for what's to come. Um, I'm probably also going to need a few Oran Berries, so I'll grab those. Those might come in handy later. Um, sleep Seed. I know what? I'm actually going to pull that out just in case we get into any trouble coming up here. Uh, but as far as everything else is concerned, I think I will leave all of that. Okay, so we are here in this winter wonderland. And uh, we saw a Pokemon on the way in. Some Absol was looking down on us as we made our approach here. But... Don't know what that was all about. I guess we're going to just head on in and figure this out because this is going to be interesting. So we're ready to roll. Let's do this thing. We're going into the Frosty Forest. We are not going to go into the snow path because that is just kind of a loop that we're going to go through. And then it's going to spit us right back out uh, at uh, the beginning. And while that is nice for extra experience and whatnot, that is not going to be what I'm doing here. So let's do this thing. Okay, so. And also, I, for some reason, my controller is acting up right now. Let's see if we can get it to not do that. I, I'm hoping I'm not, like, running into drift here, because that would actually be really bad. All right, let's take this Azuril out, and even though totally unnecessary to go overkill on this thing, because it's just a little Azuril. I mean, my goodness. Um, I could, in fact, actually go into auto mode here a little bit. And just sort of let that handle it. If Especially if my controller is going to be having issues, I might as well just... Uh, not a good way to start a, a, a session, I gotta be honest. Oh, okay, and I did not mean to press that. I'm gonna hit you with just a water gun, because remember, Azuril is not a water type. It's actually a normal type. Um, doesn't get that water type until it evolves into Meryl, so it's not actually all that difficult to deal with. There we go, all right. So, stairs are right there, but we're gonna continue and at least grab the money. Now we can head for the stairs. This place is gonna be really rough for Toothless, so I'm gonna try to... Sorry, I was saying I'm going to try to beat this entire dungeon as myself. Man, my controller was really acting up. I think it was, like, disconnecting. I think that was actually what the issue was here. But um, I may have just fixed it. I don't know. We will find out. All right, let's continue through here. No, don't walk into a slow trap. I suppose that's fine. We can stay on this for a minute until it eventually wears off. Although we are now being pursued. As long as I stay in front as myself, I think we'll be fine. Oh, this is going great, actually. Here we go. Frosty Forest, third floor. I do worry about what we're going to run into once we get through this place. Okay, there's an Azuril. Uh, let me... Can I line, us, line you up? There we go. Hit you with a water gun. Now, do you mind approaching? Oh, of course it missed. Yeah, use that iron tail. Perfect. No, no, no. I want to go down, actually. Can we, please? Thank you. All right, there is an item in here, and I also see a pile of swine. Okay, this is going to get iffy, isn't it? Yeah, we are about to get... Uh, cornered here. That's okay. Just water gun you. You are a ground type after all. Yeah, hit him with the dragon's breath. Perfect. And now another water gun. Sweet. Okay, and now we got a snow run approaching. So let's take that out. Yes, iron tail. Okay, well that, that is nice for this area. Gotta say. What did we get? We got a quick orb. Okay, that actually also might come in handy a little bit later. Might have to use that uh, if we get to the boss here. Like as soon as the fight starts so we can be using multiple attacks. Just use some facades here and a dragon's breath. Yeah, why not? All right, good, good, good. I mean, ooh, a joy ribbon. What is it? Hold on. What does a joy ribbon do exactly? I don't think I've seen that one before. I know, I've, I've heard of it, but I don't think I've ever actually used it. Where it can earn experience points as turns go by, even if the Pokemon doesn't battle. Wow. Um. Hey, do you want to hold that, Toothless? Since I'm going to hope that you're not actually doing a lot of fighting. Because that could actually be really awesome. Yeah, just keep approaching. That's fine. Because if he just gets free experience for doing absolutely nothing, I mean, uh, who's going to complain about that? And what is that here as well? A Nullify Bandana. Okay, hold on. We're getting some interesting items here. I need to be checking these out. I don't have to prevent the wearer's ability from working. I don't know if that's actually a good thing, at least for me. It might be good for, like... 
exactly one type of Pokemon that I can think. Can you imagine putting that on a Slacking? That would be insane. Okay, let's uh, head up. Oh, oh, never mind. That Pokemon is pursuing us. Okay, let's go this way. I'm gonna water gun you. And you can just keep throwing Geo Pebbles all day if you want to, Toothless. I don't really mind that at all. Okay, we're going left first. I guess that's the plan. All right, let's facade you. Ooh, we got a double team in the in the works. Maybe I can still hit you. Nope, it missed. Okay, we're fine. Dragon's Breath. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, and we got a pretty box. So I'm sure that's going to try to approach. Let me mud slap you. Get your accuracy down. And then Dragon's Breath. Of course it missed. Ow! That was a lot of freaking damage. Oh, my goodness. All right, give me that. Thank you. All right, let's keep going. I am getting to the point where I actually might need to fill up my belly here in a second. I, I think I can go a little longer, though. All right, what do we got? Another, just another Azurl. I don't really worry about those too much. Let's go back to using Facade, and then we can maybe try a Mud Bomb here, because I haven't been using a lot of those. Although, okay, I don't know what... Hold on a second. Okay, sorry about that cut. That That's what keeps happening. So apparently my pro controller every single time, because I've got it like connected to one switch, but I've got it wired right now. And apparently every single time I try to hit the left trigger A combination, it instead goes, oh, you didn't want to hit the button on the wired thing. You're trying to connect to your other switch wirelessly for some reason. So I don't know what that was all about, but I hopefully fixed it. I suppose we'll probably find out a little bit later if it continues to happen, but that is getting incredibly annoying. Wow, that is something interesting to run into right off the bat. What's up, Nose Pass? Hey, that should be an easy one, right? Are you dead yet? Immediately. Okay, what do we got here? Special Band. I actually am going to take that. Um... Let's see, it boosts special attack, yes. I'm gonna put that on myself and actually get rid of the defense scarf, because my goodness, that could be nice, especially for doing additional damage here. Oh yeah, that is what I'm talking about. That's gonna be awesome for pretty much everything but facade. Okay, we got another Azura Lepro. I mean, it's just a, it, it's just a little baby. It's just a little baby, guys. It's not something we need to be really careful over. We're gonna be fine. Hey, there we go, and I got to level up. I will take that. Cool, cool, cool. All right, and then we get the money, too, as well. Uh, uh, what do you mean, take a look around? Why did we, why did auto mode have me do that little back and forth there? Oh, it's a, it's a ditto! Oh my gosh! Well, I'm going to mud bomb you. I'm actually going to do a bunch of mud bombs to make sure that these actually work. So that this controller doesn't continue to act up on me. Okay, we're good. Luckily, that was not too difficult to deal with. All right, and I have Max Ethers uh, saved for exactly this reason. Because I am going through a lot of moves here. Let's keep going. Okay, here's Ditto. Oh, not a slow trap. That's annoying. Here comes that transform. That was not what I should have used, but whatever. I mean, I guess I didn't really have a choice from that distance. All right, to the stairs we go. Um, actually, before I go on, now that the entire floor is clear, let's do a couple of things here. First things first. Let's eat an apple. Okay, and then why don't I use some max ethers here? Just because I have so freaking many. Um, let's do water gun first. And then I think we will do... Yeah, hold on, hold on. Toothless, can I do dragon breath with you? Perfect. Okay, any more that I can use? There's just there's so many in my inventory at this point. I might as well. Um, I think I'll also use one. Uh, what if I use the most? Eh, facade, why not? Just kind of getting them out of my inventory at this point. Okay, now we can continue. Um, hold on a second. We're getting ellipses. What does this mean? Someone has intruded upon the forest. The enfeebled flow of icy winds. Is the intrusion to blame? It must be stopped. For it is to protect the forest. Oh, okay, sixth floor. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> it's back to the music. Let's go. All right, so we are heading right, and that's okay. All right, can I? Yeah, I cancel that. I just want to water gun you. There we go. Now approach like a mud slap, and that should knock you out just fine. We got a sleep seed. Cool, cool, cool. There is a Pokemon kind of pursuing us over here. Can I hit you with this? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Why not? Oh, and you also could use a water sport, I suppose. Throw another Geo Pebble at you. Perfect. All right, let's keep going. So we only got one more item left to grab. Oh, and it's right next to the stairs. Perfect. Even better. Seventh floor. 
Okay. Oh, Mighty Yana. Interesting. Uh, well, let's Mud Bomb you. Maybe I can lower that accuracy. It did not work, but that's okay. Oh, don't use Roar. Ow. Pushes me into Toothless. Not a fan of that. It's okay. It's not too much damage. All right. Water Gun. Dragon's Breath. And another Howl. Well, if you're not going to approach me, then I will Water Gun you again. I could have been like, oh, so you're approaching me, but it wasn't because it decided to stand there and use Howl instead. A Link Box. That's going to just get sold at the store later if I can ever get to Kecleon, which I don't know if that's ever going to happen again because we can't go back. Uh, the item was a ditto! Oh man, it's such a lie. I can't believe these items are lying to me. Uh, Mud Bomb. Oh wait, hold on. Uh, how did you get confused there, Toothless? That seems a little bit strange. All right, see if you can catch up, buddy. There we go. We got a Geo Pebble. Oh, oh, hold on. Hold on. No, 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 no. Let's see if we can't get back to whatever this Pokemon is. It's a Nose Pass. Okay, I can handle that. No problem. Oh, unless I, of course, miss the attack, which, you know, that also could make my job a little bit harder, but whatever. All right, and let's Water Gun you. Don't use Howl, please. Just get a little closer. You didn't even need to because you dropped a pretty box. All right, Water Gun. Here we go. That is some damage right there. And a Mud Bomb. Perfect. Wow, this special scarf is really helping me out right now. I am loving it. Okay, another Harden. And another Water Gun. Just for you, buddy. Just for you, my sentient compass. And there's the stairs. All right, let's get out of here. Eighth floor. Uh, nothing in here. Wow, actually, all of the enemies kind of spawned on the opposite side of the uh, of the area. But we are going to go after these items. Okay, here we go. And actually, I can do the same. Okay, we can we can turn off auto mode here and throw Geo Pebbles at you. And that should take you out. Uh, there is another Pokemon approaching from somewhere. What do we got there? A tiny Reviver Seed. I actually do need that. Ooh, there you go, Toothless. Just keep it pinned in place. Is it dead? Yes, it is. All right, awesome. There's so many Mighty Yenna here. Water Gun. All right, a little closer. Mud Bomb. Oh, my gosh, and another one approaches. Look at this ridiculousness. Okay, apparently this is just the episode of controller issues because, my goodness, my Pro Controller is just having all sorts of problems, and I really hope that it is not actually failing on me. Otherwise, I... Well, they're, let, let's just say Pro Controller... Well, Pro Controllers obviously aren't cheap, but I can't afford another one right now, and I really don't want to play this game with the Joy-Cons because it, I already have problems enough with the controls of this game. In particular, I really don't need that exacerbated by the controller that actually hurts my hands to use. Uh, good job, Toothless. You just took care of that all on your own. Wonderful job. My gosh. Okay, are we going in there? Dude, okay. Auto mode, you can't... I, even I knew where to go better than you did, apparently, in this scenario. Get out of here. Oh, my goodness. Okay, are we good? We're good. Let's get the heck out of here before my controller is tries to sabotage me anymore. I go right here. Oh, of course. <laughs> that was just amazing. I love how that blast trap blew up so hard it just knocked Mighty N out instantly. That was freaking incredible. Okay, no, I'm just going to I'm just going to continue. Oh. Oh, okay. So here's our uh this is our pause point, I suppose. Okay, I think I'm going to deposit a few things in here. So, um, I'm going to get rid of a few uh, max ethers. I think I'm also going to, like, spend the rest of this uh, dungeon using almost exclusively Graveler Rocks and Geo Pebbles if I can help it. Um, I don't have a... I mean, I don't have a ton of Graveler Rocks, but if I can just use those to save all of my item usage... That would be awesome. And now I actually have too many Oran Berries, even though I pulled a few of those out. So I can get rid of a couple of those. Um, should I use a Quick Orb? No, I, I, I'll, I'll keep the Quick Orb. I think I can use it to get through like a floor faster. But uh, I think that's probably going to be it. Okay, I'm going to do actually do one more floor just because this whole episode has been a mess. And no, I do want to go on. This episode has been a mess just because this the, the problems with my controller have been incredibly bad. Ooh, all power up orb. That one, if I remember correctly, is ridiculously good. Yep, using it sure. They, okay, that is going to be incredibly important later. So, I'm going to hold on to that. We got a whirlwind wand. Alright, let's stop here. 
We're going to start throwing Geo Pebbles. Ooh, hello there, Laron. Gosh, I wish I could get my uh, Aeron up to you, uh, to evolve into you. That would be great. All right, Geo Pebbles. Just keep using them. Magnet Rise. It's okay. I can keep hitting you with that. That should knock you out just fine. Okay, we're going to avoid the stairs just, just for a little bit because... Um, I, I mean, there seems to be a lot of things on this floor, so let me face that way. Can I hit you from there? Oh, yeah. One more. Beautiful. Okay, let's look around. See what we can get. We got some money. What is this over here? More money. And we are about to be attacked. Okay, I can just water gun you and almost one shot you. Dragon Breath should finish you off. Not too difficult to deal with. Oh, okay, we are being attacked again. That's okay. Just keep using... Can, you, can I get you to come closer? No, you're not going to do that? Okay, that's fine. Can I hit you with a mud slap? Yeah, there we go. Okay, can everything stop... Yeah, I was going to say, everything stop converging on this room, please. I will take a tiny reviver seed. Okay, we are about to get into a fight. Yeah, just keep dragon's breathing it, Toothless, even though that's honestly not doing a whole lot in this scenario. Pardon me while I uh, face you and mud bomb you. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. There's that quad weakness in action. Okay, we are not going to go to the Kecleon shop because that is absolutely unnecessary in this scenario. We're just going to head to the next floor. And I think here, guys, is where I'm going to call this an episode. Thank you all so very much for watching. I am so sorry about the technical difficulties. I don't know why they decided to suddenly pop up. I mean, it's been a few days since my last recording session, so I'm wondering if something happened in between the last recording session and today with my controller. I, it's not like I haven't not been using it, but it's it's still like an issue that's like clearly rearing its ugly head here late in the game. And that's going to really suck if I need to buy a whole new pro controller just to continue this Let's Play. So with all that said, <laughs> thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this episode very, very much. And I will see you all in the next one.